Hello everyone, and welcome back to some One Chunk Minecraft. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to acknowledge the amount of traction this channel has been getting recently. This series is catching more attention than I've seen ever on YouTube. I've had more views and subs today than I've had in the past five years. So as a formal introduction, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. I have a wide variety of interests and I plan on exploring as many of them as I can on this channel. And I'm also incredibly thankful and grateful for this. I feel like I'm finally getting the shot that I never had, and I want to try to do anything I can to keep that on track. So much so that we're going to do something a little bit special today. We got a lot going on right now. We're starting to automate a few things here. Today we're going to build a mob farm. We're going to build a nice mob farm. Now, we don't have a whole lot of redstone to play with, so this is going to be fairly low tech. I played around in the creative world for a little bit, and I think I found a design pattern that worked out pretty well. But before we can do any of that, there's a few things we got to get ready. One of those things being furnaces. We're going to want quite a few of these things. We got a whole lot planned. And so Secondly, wood. We're gonna need a whole lot of that. Start by getting as much cobblestone as we can in here. The goal is to make this entirely out of stone. It's likely not gonna stay stone. I'd like to upgrade it to maybe a stone brick in the future, or maybe a nicer material. But in order to get the resources we need for this project, we're gonna need to get a cobblestone generator made. And I'm trying not to do it on our farmland. Definitely not the tree level, definitely not the wheat level. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of this old mob spawner. It's nice, it's controlled. I don't have to worry about anything else catching on fire. And I'm thinking we can just keep this nice and simple. We don't have any hoppers to work with. There's not too much we can do to make this super official. But official is not really what we need right now. We just need functional. Having access to what we need is more important than making it look nice right now. Head back up here. We're going to need a water source. And I say before we go on a huge mining spree, we should take a little bit of time to cut down some trees. We're going to need a little wood. We're going to need a little fuel for the furnace because resource preparation for this project is going to be fairly large. It's going to be the largest we've done on the series so far, and it's probably going to be the largest I've done in a while. Now, as I mentioned, I put together this design in a creative world. And if you were thinking about using it, there are pros and there are cons. Now, we don't have the resources to put together something like a dispenser, observers, redstone clocks, or anything like that. Nothing to fully automate this process. So we're keeping it analog. We're keeping it in the stone ages. This design uses no redstone. It's scalable. Output, not great, not terrible. Definitely passive, but I wouldn't expect too much out of it. But for a design like this, you're relying entirely on the mobs to do all the work for you. As a general rule of thumb, that's not the best strategy for getting results. But that being said, this design can easily be converted to a more efficient one in the future. And I think it's a direction we need to go in. Got a whole lot of wood. I'm gonna convert these all over the planks. And we can start cooking up all the stone that we have on us. Well, all the cobblestone, I should say. We're converting the cobblestone in the stone. Look at that cow just taunting me. So close yet so far. Everything I've ever wanted. Everything I've been working for blocks away. But now that we got our water, we have the basics for a cobblestone generator. I messed up. Yeah, I, I had to put it another block apart. I'm silly. And now we play the waiting game of obsidian breaking. We got another lava source. Pop this bad boy there. And we should be in a position where we can actually start to get some of this cobblestone. Oh? This isn't going how I expected it to. In my mind, this is a much more smooth process. All right, so now if I do something like this, the source block should never touch. It should create some cobblestone right here. The lava doesn't reach, does it? There we go, okay. I'm not entirely confident that I'm getting a lot of this cobblestone. It's definitely not the most efficient thing in the world. Let's see how far we can get using this strategy. Try to stand as close to the block as possible as I'm breaking it. The sad part is this might actually be more fun to just go mine cobblestone. I think I'm going to do that instead. We're at a point where we can actually go explore a little bit. We'll save the whole generator thing until one, we either don't have enough stone left in the chunk to mine, or two, we have the resources available to actually make a decent one. Whichever comes first. But it's my intention to clear out almost all this area anyway. So we might as well just get a head start on it. Right now we have a decent bit of stone. We need to focus on the fuel source. We might be a little bit into this world at this point. But apples are still our heroes. Apples keep us alive. Who needs a doctor when we have apples? I know I don't. Well isn't that a tease? Look at that. I just can't get it. That's borderline cruel right here. Oh. Hello. Do these things attack me, or what does it want? Oh, goodness gracious. That's okay, I can use the slime balls. That jump scared me a little bit. Like, I heard the sticky bouncing of the slimes, but typically when I hear mobs and they sound close, they're usually like 100 blocks away. All right. So I did a little mining. All right, maybe a lot of mining, a little smelting. And I think we have all the materials we're gonna need to complete this project. I hope, if we're not, that's gonna be really awkward. We got trap doors, we got some wood blocks, we got some stone. Most importantly, we got a water bucket, which I wish I had about 18 of. Now, first off, I plan on building this up pretty high. 
like kind of high. To be honest, I haven't been counting. I probably should have been. I'm not talking sky limit high. However, that would be preferred. Maybe in the future, I'll go up there. But for right now, up to about here should be fine. We can start the platform right here. Oh no. Oh, there's phantoms. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna take a risk here. I like to think I'm a man, so what's the fight? Oh, okay, there's too many of them. Okay, I'm gonna run for it. Hopefully this water's not gonna be an issue. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't consider that detail that uh, we haven't slept ever in this world. I've been trying to save up some string so I can get some more wool. But as of right now, I only got enough for one block. Zero blocks or two blocks? Oh, it only takes four. I thought it took nine string to make one wool block. Oh, we can sleep. And we stumbled across some kind of heaven right here. Okay, I, I didn't expect this would ever be a possibility in our world. Oh, sweet dreams. No wonder he's seeing monsters. He hasn't slept in weeks. All right, now that we never have to worry about phantoms again, we can continue to construct what I'm gonna call the watering hole. This is gonna be the bottom of the farm. Essentially how this thing is gonna work is the mobs are going to spawn in a dark area. They're gonna walk off a cliff and then fall into this water funneling system, which is gonna funnel them all down to a tunnel and they're just gonna fall. Ah, I'm stupid. Now we gotta find a spot where this isn't gonna bother anything. I'm thinking right here is a good spot to make a little water elevator. Now we put the water in each corner, and if I did this right, we should have a nice little tunnel in the center. But something's wrong here. Something's very wrong here. It's not supposed to be this big. Yeah, I know what I did wrong. Hang on. There's supposed to be another step. If I put some blocks here, I should be able to make it work with just that. Uh, there we go. That's much better. Now we can place a water source in each corner. And if we did this right, we should get the shape we're looking for in the center. That's it. That's what we want. Now we can break out all these blocks here. We're not going to need them anymore. This is kind of the funneling chamber. Mobs will fall into this chamber and they'll get funneled down into a drop. If we had more iron, they'd be dropping right into a hopper, which will go into a chest. But we don't have the resources for that yet. So the best we could do is kind of create an AFK spot. So something changed. My original design was actually less space effective than this but it seems like it'll work out just the same so this pattern is probably the best way to go for optimizing space we could actually do it a bit more we could probably cover a little bit more but i'm actually going to leave it the way it is basically spiders need a three by three space to spawn so anywhere from here to here here to here spiders can spawn over here is a secondary platform and when it's completely dark in here all mobs can spawn up here but mobs just don't really nearly walk off things they're smarter than that that's where trap doors come into play basically how this works is if you have a trap door here and you open them up it's a block that you can fall through but the mob ai it's pathfinding ai that it uses when it's deciding the next place it'll walk it will sense the edge of this and think it's a full block here and they'll just walk right on in however it's gonna acquire a few more trap doors than i initially expected oh i just made crafting tables i'm so oh goodness i didn't realize it required almost a full stack of trap doors for each row and today i plan on putting together at least three rows i'll start with three we can always expand upon that in the future oh there he goes <laughs> this is already starting to be effective oh we got a creeper wait don't blow up he just blew up Luckily he didn't blow up much. So now we gotta go up three more blocks. There has to be at least a two block space in between floors. And then we just replicate this design again. All right, same plan over here. Whoa, I messed up something. All right, and we're gonna do this one more time. Three platforms should be plenty. All right, so I'm gonna run back down. We're gonna get the bed before anything spawns in. And it should be ready to go by tomorrow. Ready? Luckily we have this little pool here. And I still landed on the wrong thing. Luckily the wall border's right here. Things can't go too far being very cautious about the stone because I want there to be a nice pattern on the top since we don't have enough stone to finish it we had just enough to get this little circular pattern on the roof now we hopefully have enough slabs to make this work or is this going to be kind of embarrassing yeah I didn't think this through very well so I'll be right back all right well it took some time but I think we got all the final resources we need oh wait what how are you alive yeah I'm not losing to you Oh, I might. Okay, that was close. I got, yeah. Oh, goodness. But yeah, everything that spawned up there last night is just kind of dropping down now. It's kind of humorous to watch. Now, it's my understanding that it's a 23 block fall. 23 blocks is all it needs to take them out. That was just a quick Google search number. I have no idea if that's true. 
but I want to stick to my design and my design called for a 27 block fall so let's finish getting this roof settled get this patched up now it should be completely dark in there and torches let's get some torches up here we don't want anything spawning I took the liberty of putting a hopper together <laughs> oh goodness look at my eye uh, this is becoming too real to life <laughs> I took the liberty of putting a hopper together used up all the iron I figured it was worth it but now comes the tricky part we got to find a way to build a tunnel going down all right now we got to find a way to get these blocks here oh wait 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 oh but i must say this is one of my more effective mob spawns yeah it's going well oh goodness look at him go no way this is incredible i guess i'll start with a bucket here this is gonna ruin a lot i have a strong feeling about that yeah i just made a safe way for mobs to get into my house i'm not the smartest man alive i'm just gonna hope that doesn't become a problem even though i'm fairly certain it will now i'm just gonna build down from here i completely wasn't keeping track of how far i was going i'm just gonna build down to the dirt oh boy yeah we got mobs yeah i regret this decision already but i'm a man of com oh what the I am a man of commitment, and I will- Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta be careful, these skeletons are pulling trick shots on me as they're falling. Oh, no, no! That was dumb. Now there's a million and one mobs up there, and they have absolutely no way of defending myself. Hello, drowned. How did you get here? How did the drowned get here? I'm very confused, so I'm just gonna leave you alone. Fairly certain I'm missing a lot of my stuff still. Creeper. Dang it. Oh, no, come on. Man, I should have killed you when I had the chance. Oh, creeper! No, come on. Oh, I just fell. Come on. It's dawning upon me that we're still gonna need more stone. Why did you just do that to me? I'll tell you what, I'm getting real sick of this. Lesson number one with mob farms. Always build a tunnel first. Oh, there's a skeleton. No! <sighs> this is so annoying. It's just every minute I have to go get my stuff again. Why? Why? No. I'm having a really bad day. <laughs> oh my goodness, stop. Oh, goodness gracious. No! Wait, was that a zombie villager? What was that? Really? Really? Come on, no! Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no! I missed. Oh, here's an idea. Put a fence post here, and I can step on the fence post. Then I can fill in this block. Yes! See? We're creative, smart people. We can do this. Now, how do I get down? No! Wait! I completely gave up and just switched to the cobbled deep slate. We've been doing this for so long, we just need to get this done. No! Oh, come on! Why? No! No! Come on! Oh, I'm alive! Okay. Just gotta not do anything stupid while I'm here. I'm so close. I just gotta finish this cup. I just gotta finish this. And if we just keep bridging our way up, we should be able to get this. Two at a time, and then I'll put a sidestep. Okay, this strategy might be the most effective we got. Oh, oh no. Half my stuff fell through the tunnel. Half my stuff fell outside of the tunnel. I don't know what's what. I don't know what's where. We don't have our bucket, though, so we know we're missing something. Oh! Oh! My bucket! Oh, it's up there. Okay, we gotta run. No, 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 no. We can't. We can't afford to lose it. But unfortunately, the mobs have the perfect cover right now. All right, we got something. We don't have a building block. Where did our building block go? Okay, we got some deep slate here. That might be the one we had before. Where's our bow? You're probably gonna need that in a minute. I think everything up here fell. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, now it did. Oh, we need more building blocks. I don't want to use the dirt. Dirt's not an option. All right, no playing around. We're gonna grab everything we have. All the deep slate, all the tough, all the granite. It could be as ugly as we need it to be. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh boy. No, 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 oh. All right, that's another one done. Ooh, two, three, four. All right, that's sealed off. Luckily, we still got torches here. Need to mob proof this entire outside just in case. Two, three. And I think that covered it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know that this was a long one, so if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate you. But we did it. This is a functional mob farm. And it's crazy efficient besides the fact that we don't have enough hoppers to actually collect most of it. Secondary note, there are some pillagers over here. And I've been trying my best to shoot arrows at them for a while now. Our poor base is completely destroyed. This thing's gonna need a makeup later. So tune in next time. We'll be cleaning this thing up. We'll be building a base around it. It'll be fun. I'd find people. Peace.